We're gonna go into the dark Target today. They just turned the lights on. There's two people in the parking lot waiting. We're gonna go in there and uh, find nothing. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Um, yeah, I have to go in there and get a couple of uh, clips, like uh, pinchy things or whatever. Uh, my mom's, uh, she had like a really good successful art show and um, <clears throat> she has to pack it up tomorrow. Or I have to pack it up tomorrow. <laughs> So, uh, she's like, I need these clips so that, like, all the fake snow that's in the dioramas doesn't fly around. I'm like, all right, all right, I got you. So, um, I'm out today doing that. Guy number one. Okay, doors are open. Guy number two is here. Um, so yeah, we'll see how, uh, the toy aisles are looking for your entertainment and for my curiosity all right it was like two minutes left so i was killing time with this intro let's go wow pillows <laughs> oh that's the door stop Damn it, where, where are the clothing pens or clamps or whatever? Whoop, hey. Where the fuck are they? Okay, so there's something fun here that uh, I want to check out. Look at these. These are from limited edition collection card inside. The Loyal Subjects. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, Nickelodeon. Right on. So we have Raphael here. That is interesting. BST features, articulation, incredible sculpt detail. I'll be the judge of that, buddy. Alright, so we have Raph. Okay, then we have Michelangelo. So, strange designs. I don't know, this isn't like the... the movie thing that's out. But they're cool though. Okay, I really need to see Leo. <laughs> I like that he's the last one. Ooh, Donnie's strange. Is this the comic book or Nicolo straight from the pages of the TMNT IDW comics? There's my answer. Uh, artwork from Matthias Santoluco. TLS proudly presents. Okay. Hmm. That's pretty cool. These are my clips that I got. <laughs> Alright, let's check out Leo. Looks like they got, like, one set of them. There's Leo. Man, if I was still collecting all Leonardo's, I'd be all over this. I'm a whole different collector these days. Very tempting, though. There's no price, by the way. This is cool. I do like it. Let me do a little... But anyway. Cool set, cool set. I like it. Pretty neat. Pretty neat, pretty cool, pretty neat. Alright. Also this really neat T-Rex dinosaur. I'm not getting it because, you know, <laughs> new collector and all that, but if that was a dragon sword or whatnot, you bet your ass that'll be right in my freaking cart. All right, enough of all of that. There's a dude lingering in the die-cast section. Like, there's nothing on the pegs. He's been there since I came into this store. Just just want to see what it looks like in there, dude. Like, there's nothing there. Fucking leave. Okay, thank God. So, yeah. 
Looks like a lot of a lot of returns of the Fiat. That's kind of messed up. Yeah, someone bought the cases and then with their receipts returned those. Really hate that. I dislike that immensely, but I don't care. Do whatever the hell you guys want. I just don't give a fuck. This is really messed up though. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, I just finished that, so that was a productive visit to this target. I did get uh, everything I need to see. Yeah, wow. So, um, yeah, that's that was my target trip. Um, I don't think it's it's really not even enough for a video. But uh, yeah, uh, so there were four people there looking for Hot Wheels. Um, you saw what was on the pegs. Uh, none of them got anything. Uh, the Ninja Turtles was awesome. I really liked that set. Um, I would never buy it. Uh, no offense to the artist. I, I'm not a fan of that art style. Uh, it's good. Man's a talented artist. It's a comic book art. It's great. People love it. It's cool. You're allowed to like things and not like things, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, really cool, beautiful packaging, uh, beautiful presentation, beautiful TMNT. Um, love me some turtles, man. I like turtles! And, um, yeah, but, you know, uh, that's the thing. Uh, not talking shit on anyone. Uh, these are all collectors. These are all, um, you know, people that collect or... Uh, resell whatever i don't i don't care we we've been over this so many times but that whole you know as as in everything you know it's the thrill dies down when you uh, you know go go to a place it's a wednesday you know when you go to a target in the morning especially opening hour and there's three or four people on Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. 8 um, stocking the pegs, uh, you know. So it, it takes away that thing that used to exist, you know, like that, the feeling of, you know, I know everyone's chasing this. I'm not judging anyone. I'm the last person to be judging anyone, as you guys know, if you watch my videos. Like, uh, yeah, uh, apparently if I mention any little thing, uh, people make cancel videos, so not gonna be saying anything about that yet. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, dude, uh, it's a lot, man, like four, and then the one dude was just lingering in the aisle. Like, I literally went to get everything, you know, he's there. I walk by, there's two other guys there, he's still there. I leave, get my pins and clampies. I walk by again, he's still there. It's not gonna magically appear, bro. <laughs> so I just wanted to walk by the aisle and see what's on the pegs, you know? Like, dude, you already checked it, go away. Like, why do people do that? It, it's weird. They're like, oh, there's nothing here, I'm so disappointed, I'll just hang out here. Maybe, maybe I missed it somehow. I've done it before too. Um, so yeah, again, not judging anyone. No one did anything wrong. What I'm saying is, um, the thrill is gone, dude. The thrill is freaking gone. The thrill is gone! Um, yeah, yeah. This this lady target has way too many uh, fellas up, up in her. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about and it's just, you know, like if you look at my videos three years ago, you know, I would go through all of these places and there were other hunters, but like there was stuff on the shelves, people were looking for stuff, even even the 2020 thing when there was nothing on shelf, it was better. But uh, I guess the hobby's huge now, people, all the people want them Hot Wheels. I'm not even looking for anything, man. Like, I have friends that are asking me, like, hey, man, let me know if there's anything you're looking for. I got you. Uh, I really appreciate all of you, but, like, I just had to tell, like, three or four guys, like, 
I'm good. <laughs> the last thing I wanted was the uh, uh, hot wagons, the 510. And thank you, Ryan, from Old Dude Diecast. He just sent me one. Uh, now I have it. Uh, I have no need to go and stress out over anything, really. So, yeah. Uh, I am more than happy to uh, find things that other people want, give it to them. And if they find something that I want, they give it to me. I kind of like that. Um, I really don't need any more stress in my life, man. Um, uh, this is... You know, at first it was on YouTube where it got really weird. Where, you know, people started to get... Um, what do you call it? Like narcissistic, um, you know, me, 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 I'm important complexes. And I had to back away from a whole bunch of YouTubers that were just freaking, I don't know what the hell happened to them. Uh, but good on you guys. Uh, hopefully you're all having a good time. <laughs> um, and yeah, now it's like, now the hobby's grown, grown even more and it's like everyone is in Targets, everyone's at Walmarts, everyone's getting everything that's, you know, everyone's just getting stuff that everyone else wants. Oh, there's the one guy that was at uh, in the aisle before. I guess he's uh, still waiting around to see if they wheel out any U-boats. Yeah, I can't do that, man. I can't be like... Uh, it, it just makes... It irks me, I guess is the word. It irks me to be like the guy who's hovering around the U-boat waiting for them to bring out more stuff. Uh, I, 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 mm, I don't know. I did do it a few times. Uh way back in the day <laughs> uh i i've done it but it was different back then like people would be like, oh you want hot wheels here here you go but now like all of the employees they're like you know they're they're weary of people because like they're just trying to do their job put their stuff out and they get swarmed by a bunch of people of various ages and um yeah, I don't know, man. I would definitely not want to be the, you know, stock boy. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll stand back and observe. Like, I'm very observant. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just watch the employees or, like, overhear them talk. You know, I'll hang out and whatever, you know. Like, meanwhile, people are all, you know, all stressed out looking for things. You know, like, I'll happily film, like, people jumping on a bunch of fresh cases than being one of the guys that's over there bumping and grinding you know i want that super wow man like just watching youtube videos and all of that and you know watching it live sometimes not lately because i haven't been like really peg hunting uh in intent with intent in a while now not since the last auction for ukraine that's why i was peg hunting with intent heavily every day and made a lot of awesome videos it was because it was for charity um you know so yeah those of you that don't know i mostly focus on fast and the furious there's a couple of sets coming out the premium sets one set has one car that i want and the other set has two cars that i want uh the rest are re-releases and um not not like ranting or anything no anger at all no fomo i don't care if i miss out i really don't care uh you know but like and I'm happy that that's happening because new collectors can catch up on their Fast and the Furious collection. You know, they can fill up the cars that are getting re-released. They don't have to pay some scalper, you know, on eBay who's selling like the first release or the second release or the third release of that Fast and the Furious casting that they don't have yet. Uh, now it's out at retail. So that's beautiful, man. I think the re-releases are important a lot of people do say a bunch of like negativity like oh they just keep re-releasing the same stuff yeah that's mainly what turned me off of mainline hot wheels that's why i don't collect mainline hot wheels you know like like i said i'll pick up like one casting two casting you know a 510 a mustang a bmw or something else like a renault megan you know like i did recently certain castings that i like um I no longer care that, oh my god, look at that, it's yellow now, oh, it's white now, oh, it's black now, it's green, oh my god, they changed the tempo on that one, now instead of vertical lines, it has horizontal lines, 
I'm like, yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, like, I want room in my display case for, like, a new casting or a new release or a rare casting, a premium collection, you know, car that's $20 and up. Like, uh, I understand it costs more, but I would much rather spend $50 on a really cool, highly detailed, just amazing little work of art, you know, created by a company, and it's limited to like a thousand or 500 or 300. I don't know, that feels more special. But yeah, like people swarming on main lines, there's literally millions of them released around the world. And people are freaking out, punching each other, you know, pushing each other, getting angry, getting their heart rates up, <laughs> like shaking. I've seen old dudes starting to shake because there's other old dudes around them. I've seen like young dudes starting to fight each other, you know, like, bro, come on. Main lines or even premiums like, you know, they'll get hyped up like the Fast and the Furious with that. Um, the Supra with the, you know, flopped livery of Brian's car from the R34. Um, that was all crazy. Everyone was getting them, blah, 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 blah. Like, dude, you can get it online for retail. You can get it for 10 bucks shipped. You know, that's, that's a great price. <laughs> you don't have to pay gas. You don't have to drive around. You don't have to stress, you know. I'm not talking buying things for scalper prices. I'm just saying it's 2 or $3 more. You can get it online. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. That's about it, man. And, like, again, it's different. I still run into really cool guys that are collectors and will talk. You know, some guys I'll hang out for 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour, just hanging out in the aisle talking or getting out of the aisle so that people like me can go in there and just check it out and leave. <laughs> but, uh yeah and those types of guys are starting to drop like the quality of the collector is falling <laughs> if i should you know if i can say that like you know again i'm not saying this about everyone i'm not generalizing uh i don't want anyone to misunderstand me again i'm not generalizing i'm talking about a percentage of people you know and uh yeah, the quality of the collector is kind of dropping, man. Uh, you know, it's it kind it's kind of sad. Like before, like I said, I would come in and talk to people. Not even because I'm on YouTube, you know. Like I would just even I would start conversations with people. Now I kind of get anxiety to like walk up to anyone or talk to them. Like I don't mind if you guys come up to me. Like please do. I I, I like it when people do that, um, especially if you like my channel or my videos or whatever you know like i will happily talk to you but like yeah it, sometimes i'll i'll like greet i'll say hi to someone in the diecast style like hey how's it going you know and they're like oh and they'll get like closer to the pegs to the pegs as if i'm trying to get in on their bubble space you know come down bubble boy <laughs> Yeah, it gets really strange, man. Like, I don't like the negativity. I don't like the toxicity. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. Mm, I don't like it, man. <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, that's that's kind of like what I wanted to uh, vent out today, especially after going into this Target and seeing all those guys in there with nothing on pegs, and it's just so many of them. And right now they're on their circuit going to the other targets, the other Walmarts around. You know what? I'm going to take a drive to uh, the Walmart. Well, just as an experiment. You guys can be like, yeah, right, you're just getting milk, whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the sake of the video. I don't give a shit if someone doesn't believe me, what I say, of what I do. I, I like making videos, bro. You guys have seen my pickups. I show what I buy. There's no main lines. There's no super treasure hunts. Well, I haven't found any super treasure hunts. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, people are, like, always challenging me and questioning, like, the honesty. Dude, every video, watch my videos for the past, like, five years. I haven't done anything that I'm accused of by some people or have been accused of. So it, it really kind of, it's kind of weird for me. It's kind of, it's really strange. I don't know if people see me as competition on YouTube. I guess they do. Um, 
I don't know. It's really strange, man. And, uh, yeah, just, you know... I'm just, just, just tired of people with, like, superiority complexes. Where, in, where they feel like they're superior above everyone else. The narcissistic tendencies in people. Uh, there's a lot of that on YouTube. Like, people feel like once they get past a certain amount of subscribers that they're some kind of celebrity. Dude, you're not. Like, a hundred people kind of know who you are. The only reason you get recognized is because it's a niche. Like, you're making Hot Wheels videos, for example. So you're gonna go to a Hot Wheels convention, a Hot Wheels store, or a Target, a Walmart. Those people probably saw your video, so they recognized you. It doesn't mean that all they do is watch your video alone. All your videos, and they just love you, and they want to have your baby. It's not the case, buddy. <sighs> Some of you watching, you're probably watching whoever I'm talking about here. There's uh, two or three guys that are, are those types. And uh, I hope you're watching, and actually know that you're watching. <laughs> it's funny, like, people don't understand how YouTube... Um, how YouTube works and what you can actually know uh, about your statistics and who's watching you or not watching you, who subscribes to you, who unsubscribes to you, who subscribes to you again and why. It's fascinating. I love that stuff. Like, I, I like so much stuff that's around hobbies where the actual hobby is just what brings me what brings those other things for me, you know, like, for that I enjoy. It's weird. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a backstage guy. I, I like being the guy who sees, you know, the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. Like, I'm the guy that was behind that curtain watching him trying to play everybody. And I'm like, holy shit, wow, that's crazy. And they all fell for it? Wow. So, yeah, I know a lot of these uh, Wizard of Oz fellas, uh... So yeah, it's it's really it's crazy. And uh yeah, man, this hobby is crazy. I don't know what the heck's happening. It, it it got really big. I guess there's nothing else for people to like get excited about anymore. Like no one really cares about pops anymore. People do. Again, stop assuming I'm generalizing that everybody like uh Amiibo's dead. Remember Skylanders? <laughs> um yeah, uh yeah, like action figures, Marvel Legends are a dime a dozen now at Ollie's, Star Wars stuff, no one cares, like, what other properties are there? So right now it's very heavy Hot Wheels because it's the only thing that's relevant that people really enjoy. So people are kind of going from other things towards the Hot Wheels thing. But the thing that's, that's happening is they're bringing that, all of those other things and issues and problems with them to this one little hobby that used to be so niche and so nice and so like not vast you know that's when I really enjoyed it uh, it gets weird like it's not again it's not because I I enjoyed the hunt that was my thing I enjoyed the hunt I enjoy like I really enjoyed meeting the people I really enjoy meeting you know the collectors who are like passionate about what they're collecting and um now it's not, like, for the most part, it's not collectors who are passionate about what they're collecting or they're passionate about, um, you know, uh, automotive sports or car design in general. You, honestly, you don't even need to know why I talked about this with my friend Vic. Like, you don't, you know, you don't need to know what the hell BRE means. You don't need to know what Motul means. Uh, but... If you're going to be just being like, oh, I need to get that Motul car. Bro, do you know what that is? Do, do you know, like, what is, what's Motul? Do you know what BRE stands for? Do you know what GTR stands for? People don't. <laughs> they're, they're collecting hype. They're collecting um, value. They're collecting things that are, you know, value, the money, monetary value. And uh, that's why, like, I, I would talk to some people, you know, in the aisles sometimes, you know. And I have talked to quite a few people that are just resellers, you know. Like, not necessarily scalpers, but, you know, they're on a borderline because they are there buying to, to resell it. So, technically, I guess they're scalpers. But, um, 
I've talked to them as well and I don't judge them. I don't judge anyone who's a reseller or a scalper. I will tell them, dude, good on you, good for you. Congratulations, man, get that money. Um, that's awesome, you know, do it. If you're lucky enough to be able to like find a system, a way to like make money, you're providing for yourself or for your family. Fucking A, man. This dude enjoys having his door open for some reason. All right, I don't like uh, making videos when there's someone right next to things. So let's go to that Walmart and uh, I'll keep talking as I do. So basically what this video is, is my end of the year rent. And um, it's kind of like what I've landed on here, uh, which is something most of you, especially people that I used to, uh, you know, roll with or still roll with you guys know what it's all about man um you've seen the change you've seen the shift in the collecting world um all around man like uh if again <sighs> i've collected different things you know i'm a nerd i'm a collector first and foremost i've i've collected over my life i've collected stamps coins uh Let's see, uh, like metal detecting things, like artifacts. Uh, I still have a bunch of those things. I have a bunch of awesome rocks. I have agates. I have uh, meteorites. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, cards, like TMNT cards, you know. I have uh, basketball cards, baseball cards. I have comic books. Um, all of those are now shrunken down to small collections of things that I really like and that's what I kept But I've gone crazy with all of those collections. I'm a collector. I enjoy the hunt again And that's what I what I've done man, and um, I've seen all of these things happen and it's funny how sometimes some people try to like You know in comments tell me like oh well that's how it goes you, you know why are you bitching I'm not I'm not bitching man it's a YouTube channel and I'm voicing out my thoughts and opinions man I'm not complaining about anything uh, all I'm doing here is reflecting on life it's it's a documentary channel YouTube's mostly a documentary style platform uh, when I graduated from film school I basically graduated as a documentary filmmaker I'm not really showing any of my skills on this channel, God no. Um, I enjoy this channel because I don't need to focus on making it like a structured documentary show or videos. I like the fact that I can just turn this freaking thing on and talk. I can just turn it on and point it at things that are happening around me, document them raw, and that's it. I love that about YouTube. I don't have to worry about, this is an official film, this is an official series. None of it's official, man. It's all just straight from the heart, straight from my brain, <laughs> straight from my observation. And that's that's all this uh, channel is. So, uh, yeah, so what I'm talking about is I've collected it all, man. Uh, I've traveled the world. I've been to so many countries. I speak three or four, well, three languages and like one a little bit. <laughs> like, uh, you know, I, I've... I, I don't want to like make a whole list, but I, I know some celebrities, I, I've met presidents, I know uh, two presidents personally, Ukrainian presidents that I've met, hung out with, uh, my dad knew a bunch of people, so I was lucky enough to meet those, I met uh, and knew a whole bunch of uh, filmmakers, uh, like legendary filmmakers in Ukraine, uh, I know legendary filmmakers here. They're friends of mine. I speak with them in my Facebook accounts. I, uh, they were my teachers in film school. Um, I don't go around beating myself on the chest, dropping names, you know, good or bad. Um, that's for me, that's my life. That's for me to know, for me to enjoy and, and just be proud of that. A lot of people feel like they need to prove everything. They need to tell everyone everything uh, with donations, with charities, bro. You know, this is a year-end summary. <laughs> we 
with charities and stuff like there's a lot of youtubers youtubers that are like look at what i did look at all this stuff i've donated from me 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 i did it look at me i'm such a good person bro i've done those things i am not announcing how much personal money i've donated which charities i've donated to the only thing you guys know about is hot wheels for ukraine because that's something i need to announce because i need your guys's help with that i'm only one person i can't give away my whole check i'm responsible for a lot of people in my life like i'm the breadwinner of the household my dad's passed away uh you know yeah, it's been a crazy year. <laughs> uh, it's been a crazy couple of years, you know. I, I lost my dad. I lost my two cats that were... One was 20 years old. Asia, then Houdini passed away recently. He was, uh, he was about 14, 15 years old. Um, you know, my uncle, my best friend's father died. Brother died. Uncle died, uh, you know, of my friends. A lot has happened the past few years. I've lost some very good friends because for some reason they believed someone else and gave up on me, uh, believing lies. Uh, I was hurt by friends, man, like heavily. You guys know who you are. You were YouTubers. I was a part of uh, your community. And uh, I supported all of you uh, selflessly. I promoted all of you guys. I uh, played your videos in the background just so that you would get views. Uh, I used a whole bunch of my YouTube uh, channels to get you more subscribers so that the algorithm would think that you're, you know, whatever and it would promote you. I've done so much stuff for people that I did not announce. And I've been stabbed in the back so hard about two years ago by some friends that I considered almost family. We've bonded, we've talked, we've made videos together. I taught them almost everything they know about how YouTube works. They took all of that information, my advice, ran with it, stepped on my back, pushed me down in the mud and flew, ran with it. And I'm no longer needed. Um, bless you guys, those of you that, uh, you know who I'm talking about. If you're watching, I'm talking about you. Um, there's about three or four guys that did this. and I really, really am saddened. They, you know, they turned some of the community against me uh, by lying and stuff. And I have to say this, like, I haven't talked about this pretty much at all. I've done hints and stuff like that, but to be honest with you, it hurt. It really hurt that they did this to me. And uh, I will tell the story one day. I'll probably like uh, not use their names, but I have to tell this story because I don't even know if they know how they all kind of came together at one time. If they coordinated this, that's fucked up. But, <laughs> but yeah, just ouch, man, ouch. Um, I really opened my heart uh, to you guys and you guys just kind of stabbed me in the back like that with no explanation, no reason why you guys did this. No idea. So yeah, just wanted to touch on that a little bit, um, you know. Um, so yeah, that's the negative thing. Uh, it sucks losing friends. It sucks being betrayed. Uh, it sucks when people believe others about you without actually reaching out to you and being like, Hey man, I heard this about you. Is that true? Most people don't even give a shit about that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's how it is, man. So yeah, I'm very grateful and thankful for the friends I've made. Those people that showed up after all of that nonsense happened. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Like, the advice you gave me, um, the support that you still give me with my projects, with my charities, with just me, with your friendships. Just, just fucking thank you. <laughs> and again, you guys know, like, I, I don't want to, like, s spread all this around. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know who's around, you know who's not around. There's a reason people are not around. There's a reason they are around. 
simple as that. Um, so yeah, uh, I learned a lot, very, a lot of lessons, man, over the past years. This year especially has been enlightening for me from what I'm telling you now. Like, I finally accepted some things. I accepted how, how people are, uh, the good and the bad, and, uh, I took a break from the hobby. You guys know I went all all in on uh, minimalism. I didn't become a minimalist. I just really got into it. I got into uh, researching it, learning about it, stoicism, minimalism, other things. Uh, I started focusing on taking care of my mom who was diagnosed with Parkinson's and uh, that's not easy. You know, I still do at home care for not just my mom, but other senior citizens. That's one of my jobs that I do as a social worker in a way. Um, yeah, uh, I love supporting good people. And I, I love the fact that I learned how to tell the difference between who's being fake and who's a genuine person. That's what I learned this year after I reflected on everything that I've been through the past three or four years after 2020. So I'm, I'm blessed, I'm thankful, um, <laughs> it's awesome. So yeah, and uh, yeah, with collecting, man, now I'm about to turn 44. And, um, you know, I, I, I learned a lot and uh, moving forward, I'm, I'm excited and happy about about everything that's happened the good and the bad it made me who i am now so um to be continued guess what we're at walmart whoa so yeah man uh 2024 is definitely gonna be a different year definitely a better year Here's that bin where I found all those uh, gold Civic SIs. These things. Seriously empty pegs here. Yeah, you know, these pegs kind of reflect how uh, what I've learned about YouTube and friends and collecting in real life. It's all beat up, <laughs> battered. <laughs> but uh, because of that, there's room for new stuff to happen, new experiences, uh, the pegs are empty so you can hang up some new stuff on there, you know, there's uh, memories here, good memories, bad memories, but like I said, there's room for new memories, good and bad, and uh, let's fill up those uh, pegs. <laughs> with that you now I am so tempted to get this guy <laughs> you guys saw me googling over him whoa bro um that's some ghost stuff you heard that right that just fell off the shelf there's no one there <laughs> okay Anyway, so yeah, I kind of, uh, I'm still tempted to get this little guy. Uh, I really love this sculpt. Uh, I think this is one of the coolest toys ever. But, uh, definitely reserving the urge. Maybe someday if I find it on some kind of sale, I'll pick this up. Uh, amazing, though. Gotta conserve that money for important things. So I'll let you guys know, I've been looking for, um, it's a Transformers, but, uh, 
It turns into a skyline, basically. There's a skyline transformer. Uh, they're readily available on Hasbro.com uh, or whatever. Just haven't seen one in stores. Even though a lot of my friends have found them and they're like, Nas, I'll get it for you. It's like, nah, it's cool. I just thought it would be cool to find it, see it. It's probably awful. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It looks great on the box. Not these turtles toys though, they look great on the box. Look, it's it's out of the box. You can let the toy speak for itself, you know? Ooh, 17 bucks. Yeah, it's like uh, more or less these things. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. So there's one that's a GTR. Sideways. Don't really care. I like that. So, alright, let's get out of here. The store sucks. Ooh, is that like a... No, it's not a steelbook, but... It opens up all cute. Nice. Yeah, this Christmas wasn't even that great. We didn't even set up a tree. Um, the legs on our Christmas tree broke because we've had it for like five years or six years. So finally the fatigue of setting it up and breaking it down, it fell apart. <laughs> so we're probably going to buy one now. Hopefully it's on sale or whatever, you know. But yeah, so we didn't decorate for Christmas. Not outside, not on inside. Uh, I mean, my mom did that installation with the Christmas dolls and stuff. So that was cool. Uh, but not at the house. Um, but yeah, still, still Christmassy. <laughs> These are kind of interesting. Cameron, I think your carts are after me now. Cobra bats. That's kind of cool. So I am kind of... Oh yeah, the famous duel between Casey and Raph. Damn, damn, damn! I do want to get all four turtles. I have Leo from NECA like that. Um, I do want to get all four of those for my forever collection because that movie was amazing. The original TMNT live action movie. All three were good. I don't care what people say about the samurai one. Not as good as the first and second, but it was good, whatever. As a kid, I loved it. That's who it was made for. Oh boy. Some fun stuff here. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> oh yeah. Love Ren and Stimpy. Hey, I didn't watch that. The Next Generation. Oh yeah. Monster NATO. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even know this existed. What? You know, I, I kind of... Like, what the fuck? I kind of want to see this. This is so ridiculous. It just might work. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'll, I'll look that up on the flicks of net. Magnum P.I. Oh, M.A.S.H. I love M.A.S.H. What a great show. Alright, enough of the reminiscing. Oh yeah, I need to get a needle for my Sony record player that I bought at the market. Alright. Oh, turned it on already. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so that's it for that. Uh, Walmart uh, situation. Um, yeah, man. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, just wanted to share some of my feelings and thoughts about um, how this year's ended, man. Just uh, a lot of loss, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of gain, uh, a lot of um, 
learning about life, uh, learning about my family. Uh, I gotten closer with uh, some family members, got a little bit further away with others, you know, realized that uh, just because sometimes, just because they're your family, you know, uh, doesn't mean that they're sane. Um, <laughs> but that's, that's not that, man. I love everyone in my family. Family's family, you know. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, man. Uh, super, super grateful for my personal discoveries about myself and, and my collecting and addicting patterns. Uh, I've quit a bunch of things this year in particular. I successfully quit smoking cigarettes. Yes, I quit cigarettes. I've quit cigarettes a bunch of times in my life, maybe three or four times to where I quit and then for a few years I didn't smoke. But um, yeah, I quit first time I think uh, like right, right before 2020 I quit, like 2019 I think I quit or 2018. And I didn't smoke. I didn't smoke during COVID, which was crazy. Then uh, my dad passed away. I didn't smoke. Then like about a year after my dad passed away, other things happened, other whatever issues. And I just smoked again. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. Something happened finally, maybe because I'm older, maybe because like, you know, I, I kind of want to save a couple more years to be able to live. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I finally, uh, like, quit. And, yeah, I get cravings, you know, like you would with anything that you're addicted to. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm fine. <laughs> Sometimes I, I come close to lighting up again. But, you know, once you quit something and you've amassed, you know, weeks or months, in my case, pretty much a year, uh that one cigarette's gonna ruin all of that work. Like, even though it's just one cigarette, even if it is just one cigarette, you're like, it's just one and you never do smoke after that. That's, you know, people that can do that, that's fucking awesome. You guys are champions. <laughs> I don't think I can, you know. Uh, yeah, I haven't smoked uh, other things also in at least half a year now. Um, I don't really drink. Like, I didn't quit smoking other things or drinking. I just don't. Um, you know, I, I have so many responsibilities and priorities that uh, I can't, I just don't have time to do that. That it'll stop me from, you know, getting those things done and I will let people down in my life. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll have a little drink of whiskey every once a month, you know, maybe during a holiday. Uh, maybe I'll have a day where I'm like, I'm just gonna have a couple of drinks today and relax. It's when I don't have anything to do or nothing important or meet with anyone, talk with anyone. I'll have a, a nice drink. And like I said, that's like once a month, once every two months. I don't, it doesn't, it's not something that I'm like, ah, I gotta, you know, and uh, the, the toking up, same thing, man. Like uh, it kind of slows me down and uh, I'd rather not, not make myself vulnerable. So, also, I'll do that when I'm maybe making art or whatever, but, uh, doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, super grateful for Maggie. She is, like, an amazing person, an amazing best friend who is my girlfriend. Like, I've never had a girl like that, uh, in my life. I've had a couple of girlfriends in the past. And yet none of them were like that. Some tried to be supportive, some were supportive, but with Maggie, it's just effortless, man. So yeah, I love that girl, dude. So yeah. Um, but you guys know, we'll even go peck hunt together. Like she's just like, let's just go, whatever. I don't care what you want to do. Let's go do it. <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah. Um, yeah, I realized that, man. That's awesome. But yeah. Uh, Oops. But any hoozle, um, that's about that's about it. I think uh, as far as my rents go, um, you know, I've uh, 
I always had issues with, um, I guess it's not it. I always had issues with like weight, uh, gaining weight, losing weight. Uh, this year I've lost quite a bit of weight. I lost like uh, 50 pounds or so um, or more. There was a time at the beginning of this year I was very big. I mean look at my videos and um, I recently gained back almost 10 pounds and I don't like it. It's because um, after Houdini my cat passed away like all of those deaths in my life kind of piled up and um, you know that kind of like kind of hurt you know. He was my homie, man. Um, you know, losing Asia, my female cat, who I had for 20 years, she was also my homie. Uh, you know, they were my kids. <laughs> like, you bond with animals and you see things, they understand you. Like, they do things for you that just blows your mind. You're like, how did you know? Or like, I can't believe you're doing this. Like, that's exactly what I need, you know? Like, they just know, you know? Once you live with, with an animal, a cat, a dog, or whatever, you bond, you understand each other, you don't need a language, you just understand each other. Um, and yeah, those two cats were amazing. So yeah, after Houdini passed away, uh, almost a month ago now, I think. Um, yeah, it, it was hard, man, for him. He had like a thing with his lungs kept filling with liquid and uh, we kept draining it and finally we just, it just couldn't, we, it just drained, it filled too fast. So poor guy, uh, didn't have that pleasant of a death, you know what I mean? And that's the worst part, man. It's like, you, you always wish, like, if someone's gonna die, you wish that it's in their sleep, or it's not suffocating, or anything where it's horrific, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, about a week ago, my uncle passed away, uh, my dad's brother, and, uh, that's something else and you know I'm just like Jesus when is this gonna stop but that's a part of life man like the longer you go uh, the more friends and family pass away um, you know uh, we don't know when we're gonna go <laughs> you know so um, you know uh, you could go I could go we could all go <laughs> there could be um, an asteroid that hits us tomorrow and everything's gone none of it would matter no one would ever know planet's gone so i've had those realizations not in a bad way don't get me wrong it's not a depressing thing it's just you, you know that's a part of like what i touched on earlier with minimalism and all that um you know minimalism and uh just controlling your emotions i learned that the hard way uh, like what I mentioned earlier when some YouTubers decided to uh, kind of screw me over in a way. Uh, I learned, I held myself back. I could have exploded on them, made a bunch of videos exposing them or whatever. I didn't. Uh, I turned to uh, reading books. I turned to my friends, um, real life friends. And uh, that helped amazingly, man. I'm so grateful that all of that happened. So yeah <laughs> so uh yeah uh, that's when i realized like hey man as far as possessions go none of it matters these collections i have these hot wheels yeah i love them i'm still collecting them nerdy things figures whatever even pops sometimes depends on whatever you know I, I love all that yeah i'm still gonna collect it it makes me happy it brings me joy i don't need to build my house out of it um <laughs> But, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to collect some things. They make me happy. I'm going to display them. I'm going to enjoy the crap out of them. Um, but at the same time, if I lose any of those things, I don't care. If someone else wants something, I'm not going to hesitate too much to give it away. I, I've given so much crap away. Didn't sell it from my collection. I sold some things at the flea market. I sold some things to friends. Uh, most of it I sold at the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auctions, uh, you know, where it would benefit others. So that was good. And a lot of it I just gave away, man. I would just pack people's boxes with stuff, uh, expensive, not expensive. I could care less about the value. Um, you know, uh, I do make money. Uh, I'm not rich. I mean, I drive a $1,100, you know, Mazda Protégé from 2003, uh, you know, uh, my house is over a hundred years old. It needs repairs with everything. 
I'm not rich, but I make enough money to where I, I don't need to worry about making $5 off of a Hot Wheel for myself because when I bought it and now it has different value. I don't care about any of that. Don't care. Uh, a lot of people put too much value on things, man. I put value on people. I put value on humans. Um, I've made some amazing friends. I've discovered how people are. I've discovered how lonely some people are. Um, it's it's amazing how just some words you can say to people, it'll change their life. Like, they'll literally go from being suicidal to wanting to do things, wanting to live, wanting to collect again, or wanting to, you know, do anything. I've met a lot of people over the past two years uh, that are like that. And I was just blown away, man. Like, people are fragile, man. People are just, we're all damaged. And, uh, yeah, that's why I learned to let things go. Because, uh, you know, some people have problems and that's their problem. And there's nothing you can say or do to help them sometimes. So you just have to let them go. And people that you can help, and if your words mean something to them, you should use your words to make them feel better. If, if they're open and they want it, you got to give it. Too much selfishness out there, man. And um, I decided I don't want to be selfish. I, I don't want to be that way. Not that I really was. We all are selfish, you know. But what I'm saying is, like, I'm starting to see a lot more about humanity. Everyone's so freaking angry. Everyone's so, like, me, me, me. Give, give, give. To me. I take it. You know, like, I feel so good giving away. I feel so good helping someone, you know. And, uh... The, the thing is, you have to differentiate. You can't be good to people that are abusing your kindness. You can't be giving everything you, you have to offer to someone who's fake, who's just takes. So hopefully that makes sense to some of you. Uh, I know a lot of people can relate because the world has been a scary place since 2020. And uh, there's so much weird anger out there. Just It's, it's mind-boggling. So... Um, yeah, I'm very happy uh, and blessed with the friends I've gathered here on this planet. Uh, I'm very happy with the family I still have left over. I'm very happy with the animals that I've had in my life, with the friends that I've had and have in my life. Um, yeah, it's been an educational uh, couple of years, to say the least. And I'm happy that 2023 was the year where all of those things made sense to me. I finally realized this happened for me to learn this lesson. That happened for me to learn that lesson. I met this person to know what it's like to do this or be that way or whatever. So everything happens for a reason. Everything's important. And there's no reason when something hurtful happens to you, don't get too upset about it. Just kind of learn from it. And loss is a part of everything. You know, you have to lose something to find something else. You know, like they say, when one door closes, another one's open. You know, or if, if all the doors close down, look for a freaking window. <laughs> so, yeah, learn that from Ghetto Walmart. But anyway, uh, yeah, dude. Um, uh, hey, man, this is long. I really, uh, this is like walking and talking. I had to say all this. Uh, the, I don't know if this will even come out, if I'll post this. If I did, you're, you know I did because you're watching it. Um, you know, uh, I will. I always get haters that will comment negative things. Uh, I constantly get those. They're there all the time. But I also get very positive comments. I get very positive people. I'm very blessed and thankful for you guys. Um, you know, uh, you really balance out the negativity. And... Uh, I no longer entertain the trolls. I no longer, like, really give them an answer. If if someone's writing, like, non-constructive criticism, I, I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. If you're cursing, if you're calling me names in your criticism of something I did, you're not worth hearing. Uh, but I'll happily take constructive criticism. And that takes me to some people on YouTube and in real life that have left comments that meant a lot to me there's at least four of you guys that have commented things where it maybe made me look at myself and be like you know what he's right 
and the way you guys left those comments were very mature and very constructive and very respectful, which I appreciated. And that helped me. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, it, it's it's been freaking awesome, man. <laughs> And then there was a whole bunch of reassuring, reaffirming comments where people were just like, dude, that's awesome, or I know exactly how you feel, or like, thank you for making that video, thank you for saying this, thank you for saying that, and, uh, you know, whatever you said there changed me or changed my life, or that helped me get through a situation, or your jokes or your videos helped me out through difficult times, helped get my mind off of things. Those comments were freaking amazing, man. So, like... Yeah, those comments make all the negativity go away. Poof. It, it doesn't matter. So yeah, now when I get like negative people, negative comments, I just mute them. So they, they keep writing messages. They think that it goes. No one sees those messages. I don't see them. No one else sees them. But they sure as heck type them up, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I highly recommend muting people on your channels. People that drain your energy. People that just talk nonsense. Just mute them. Blocking is okay, too. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. <coughs> uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I do plan to make a lot more walking and talking videos. It's just that the weather is not uh, good for walking and talking. It's raining. And, you know, you can't just make a video like this. You can't plan for it. You can't schedule it. Uh, when you feel like you have stuff to say, you have to just say it. Um, and that's what I did today in this video. So just kind of whip it out and uh, slap it around. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for my friends that are on here. Thank you for the viewers. Uh, I don't want to say fans because it's not. This is YouTube, man. <laughs> I'm not fucking Jake Paul. I don't want fans, uh, I just want people that I can talk to, people I can relate to, people who feel the same way about me, man. Uh, there's no superiority with anything. Um, you know, we kind of have to adapt to each other and uh, move on, man, and help each other out. And uh, not try to step on each other's faces as on our way up. Don't, don't step on people on your way up, man. If someone helps you, be grateful for them. Uh, and if they help to get you up there, maybe, you know, once you get up there, reach down and help them up too. Help them to come up with you. Uh, a lot of people forget who helped them up. A lot of people forget who helped them climb up to the top or to the mid-level, whatever. The <laughs> but uh, yeah, don't forget people that help you. Um, that goes down a lot. A lot of people reached out to me telling me about, you know, how like they helped certain people. Uh, same people that I've talked about on YouTube and uh, they're like, yeah, dude, I was helping him and I was, you know, doing this and that and now that they've uh, gained a couple more subscribers, they don't even talk to me and, and I've noticed, you know, like they got rid of this, they got rid of that and uh, yeah, I'm just like, that's that's how it is and that's what I've talked about in this video, man. You, you have to try to listen to your intuition. Try to like what people do to you, what people say about you, what, what other people say in front of you about others, listen to that because they're probably talking about you behind your back to others, not in a good way either. So pay attention to that. Um, how people are behind other people's backs is how they are behind your back. So uh, got rid of those people in my life, man. Gotten rid of them with extreme prejudice and furious anger. That's a good burger. Kahuna, big kahuna burger. All right. So, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm done. I'm going to leave. This has been like an hour talk. Uh, I just wanted to make this video, man. Uh, it's end of the year thing. Uh, I have a whole bunch of things coming uh, for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more things in my real life. Uh, a lot of things won't be shared on YouTube because... Uh, you need to live your life and not share everything. People don't need to know everything about you. They don't need to know all your emotions. They don't need to know everything you plan to do or what you want to do. Um, just do things, man. You want to share it on YouTube? Share it. Don't share it? Don't share it. Your friends are going to know because they're your friends. So you talk about things with your friends. So anyway, um, yeah, thanks everyone for joining in. Um, 
live long and prosper and as always uh, don't forget don't be assholes <laughs> have a great year happy new year guys i hope uh, this new year brings you uh something good bye bye 2023 peace and love Brah.